Curtis, who are you playing this week? Uh, the team up north. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time that you used the name of that state? Uh, you said it out loud. Probably a few minutes ago, to be honest. That was because oh, Coach wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he's yeah. not here either, so you said it. No, nah, we're still in the facility, so I'm not, you know, you know, in the room over there, so I don't want to use it now. Do you ever think that, I mean, you see what happens on social media, and you, you, you're on campus, and you see students and some of the stuff. Do you ever think to yourself, hey, look, we're a part of this, and we don't, some of these people overreact to this. This is a big game. It's a huge game. But, I mean, some of these people are it's like, it takes over their life. Yeah, some people it does, but you know, I mean, those are usually the diehard fans, and you know, they know a lot about more about the rivalry than some of us do, and you know, they take it to heart. And you can't change that. I mean, we like the dedicated fans. What did you know about it in Richmond? What did you know about the rivalry, Curtis? Hmm? What did you know about the rivalry growing up? Uh, I really didn't know that much about it. I knew, I just knew one of my, uh, one of my best friends growing up. He was a uh, team up north fan. And, you know, he used to talk about how crazy the rivalry was, but I didn't really understand it until I got here. And, you know, I got a couple of other buddies back home that are uh, Team Up North fans, and, you know, we, we go at it all the time. Mm -hmm. Curtis, what, what are some of the things fans have said? done? What are the ways that you learned about the rivalry in the last couple of years? Uh, just from uh, just from the uh, previous players that were been here, they come back and talk about it. And, you know, the Team Up North week, you learn so much, uh, especially when people come back and, you know, talk to us about it, or even if you start to ask questions, it's, it's a lot It's a lot to it. I still think I don't know that much about it. Curtis, what did Coach Meyer talk to you guys about in terms of you guys had the fight with Michigan last year? Did he bring that up at all, or sort of having the intensity, but... Yeah, uh, he said uh, he wants the game to be very intense, but, you know, if anybody throws any punches this year, we're just dismissed. So, you know, he pretty much put it out there yesterday. So, there's no telling what would happen if you get into a fight this year. So we got to be on our best behavior. Not that he was going to get in a fight, but do you think uh, Dontre Wilson wishes he was healthy for this Michigan game? Oh, most definitely. Who wouldn't? I mean, especially after what happened last year, just to go out there and make a point, make a statement. Curtis, they say, I guess, that pressure bust Piper makes diamonds or something like that. I just, mm -hmm. What's the key to making sure that it's the later this week and not the former? What do you mean? What? It's going to be a high-stakes game, right? Right. How do you make sure that the pressure brings out the best in your game, not the worst? Oh, just you know, preparing and you know, like you said, like you said, meet pressure with pressure. You can't, uh, you can't sit back and wait on anything. We got to start fast and execute. Curtis, what's your favorite <coughs> Michigan Ohio State memory? Uh, I have to say last year, since I've been here, not. I've, like I said, I really didn't watch it growing up, and I say last year just because it was a very intense game, and you know. You don't know what's going to happen, but you just want to win so bad. And, you know, just and Tyvis makes that play. And it's just like, wow, this, this is a great joy in their game. Hey, was Tyvis hard to live with after that for a couple of days? I mean, what what, what, what did it mean for him? You put him put your issues, what did it mean for him to make a play like that in that kind of game? I mean, you can see the, all the joy and excitement that came out of Tyvis. Gosh. Last year, I uh, actually ran out on the field and gave him a chest button, and he ran me over. <laughs> so, you know, I could tell he was very excited. But, you know, he just came back ready to work after that. When you see them on film, when you see them on film, what do you see that says to you, this is a good team? This is somebody we need to be worried about. Oh, they have a whole bunch. They have a lot of talent, you know, from the, from the quarterback position to the receivers, even to, like, they have talent all over the field, you know. And it's kind of hard to wonder, like, what, what's going on up there? Like, how come they're not winning more games, you know? I just got done watching the film, and I'm like, man, it's, you, they have multiple running backs. They have good receivers. And at any time, if this team wanted to explode, they could and just go crazy, you know. So you see that. I mean, you see it where you yeah. wonder actually to yourself, why haven't they won more games? Did you see it happen last year right in front of your eyes? I mean, they weren't great record last year and stuff. Now, all of a sudden, Devin Gardner looks like Dan Marino. I mean, did you did y'all experience that last year? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, you can't you can't take what you see on film. Uh, we learn that each and every week. I mean, because the team, they, they're always going to prepare. Hey. Like, even last week, you know, in well, the end of the record whatever. wasn't that good. But mm -hmm. somehow they came in. Ever since I've been here. And, you know, you can take nothing for granted. All you can do is prepare and get ready to execute. Hey, Curtis, every year you guys talk about throwing the records out. Um, so stuff but if you take that stuff aside what do you remember about last year's game on the field why was it close why uh, was it to compete what do you think might have went wrong from just an on the field standpoint uh they had a great offense. Cool. this game does up very well right. i mean 
from the time we got on the field, they were throwing out different uh, personnel, and then they had a play to, to counter off of whatever we were doing. You know, especially if they got backed up. You know, we're an aggressive team, so you know, we come to today. They go back to back. They come to the time with a five and six. There's only a few DBs left, and you know, just up the field. I mean, it's not the first during the break. Players, um, you know, that you was a little bit of a different situation. Mm -hmm. How do you imagine Michigan players will respond to potential? Yeah, they're not going to one final game. I mean, if you were in their shoes, how would you approach a game if you knew your coach was in hot water? I mean, it all depends on how much respect that those players have for their guy. You know, if they have a lot of respect for them, they're going to give it all. They're going to give it all they got. And if they don't, they're not going to play worth anything.